Hello guys, I'm going to listen to a story. Well, here's a story just for Valentine's Day lovers. Little Miss Valentine by Xander Atisano. Little Miss Valentine was sweet as a heart. She loved Valentine's Day, and she loved it when Valentine's Days are sweet. Can you imagine? Now, little Miss Valentine lived in a house that was shaped as a heart. The windows were shaped as hearts. Have you ever seen a house like that? I'm sure I haven't. Little Miss Valentine got up, took a bath, brushed her teeth, and went downstairs for breakfast. For breakfast, little Miss Valentine had cornflakes with chocolate milk. Can you eat that? After breakfast, little Miss Valentine went upstairs to her bedroom to get her chocolates, then went back downstairs to the kitchen table to count them. She wanted to make sure she had a lot for herself when she goes for her walks. Then she went to the front room and packed them in her purse. While she left the house, she had to lock the door, and on her walk, she tripped somebody over. Whoops! Well, Miss Valentine she thought she tripped over a rock, but she heard a Ouch! from below her foot. Well, Miss Valentine bent down to see who it was. It was Mr. Small. I'm sorry I tripped over you. Apologize, little Miss Valentine, but you can have a chocolate. Mr. Small was very delighted. Oh, sweet, said Mr. Small, and he kissed her. Little Miss Valentine went to the pet shop. What's that in the corner? Said little Miss Valentine. Oh, bunnies! She walked up to the bunny cage and decided to buy one. Then she went to the bake shop to get a cake. She walked into the bake shop to see what she wanted. Ooh, that looks interesting, thought little Miss Valentine. It was a three-layer cake with vanilla icing, red roses, and an icing drawing of a grass with a rose and a lake with swans making a heart. That's the kind of cake I want, said little Miss Valentine. After leaving the bake shop, little Miss Valentine put the cage in a separate box and attached six balloons to it. She asked Mr. Strong to sit on the box, then she bought a spotlight with a heart on it. Then little Miss Valentine asked everyone to stand by the lighthouse. At 8 o'clock, little Miss Valentine asked Mr. Strong to get off the box. The box floated in the air, and when it reached the lighthouse, two balloons popped. <gasps> Everyone arrived at the house. Little Miss Valentine stayed behind because she was the hostage of the party. Two minutes later, the announcement started. Good morning, everyone, said Little Miss Valentine. Welcome to my party. I would like everyone to take their seats. But as everyone took their seats, Little Miss Valentine heard two more balloons go pop. <gasps> this is a very important announcement, said Little Miss Valentine. And then the last two balloons popped, and the box fell on top of the cake. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, replied Mr. Clever. That box must have gone too high. I think you're right, said little Miss Sunshine. But Mr. Greedy, being his greedy self, licked the squishy cake that was on his fingers. What's in the box? asked little Miss Sunshine. That is my... Pet bunny, replied little Miss Valentine, and everyone raced to see it. Hello guys, and welcome back to your end credits with your host Storytime Mania World 4, as known as Xandra Tisano, and I do get a lot of effort into making my videos, so please let me know in the comments on how your Valentine's Day was, and I did get a little Miss Valentine's voice a little webby. She sounds so cute and adorable on Valentine's Day. Please subscribe to my channel, and happy Valentine's Day, everyone.